December 5th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Joel chapter 1 of the Old Testament. This is the Lord's message that was given to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Listen to this, you elders. Pay attention, all inhabitants of the land. Has anything like this ever happened in your whole life or in the lifetime of your ancestors? Tell your children about it. Have your children tell their children and their children the following generation. What the Gazem locust left, the Arba locust consumed. What the Arba locust left, the Yellick locust consumed. What the Yellick locust left, the Hazel locust consumed. Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. Wail, all you wine drinkers, because the sweet wine has been taken away from you. For a nation has invaded our land. There are so many of them, they are too numerous to count. Their teeth are like those of a lion. They tear apart their prey like a lioness. They have destroyed our vines. They have turned our fig trees into mere splinters. They have completely stripped off the bark and thrown them aside. The twigs are stripped bare. Wail like a young virgin clothed in sackcloth, lamenting the death of her husband-to-be. No one brings grain offerings or drink offerings to the temple of the Lord any more. So the priests, those who serve the Lord, are in mourning. The crops of the fields have been destroyed. The ground is in mourning because the grain has perished. The fresh wine has dried up. The olive oil languishes. Be distressed, farmers. Wail, vine dressers, over the wheat and the barley, for the harvest of the field has perished. The vine has dried up. The fig tree languishes, the pomegranate, date, and apple as well. In fact, all the trees of the fields have dried up. Indeed, the joy of the people has dried up. Get dressed and lament, you priests, wail, you who minister at the altar. Come spend the night in your sackcloth, you servants of my God, because no one brings grain offerings or drink offerings to the temple of your God any more. Announce a holy fast, proclaim a sacred assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land to the temple of the Lord your God and cry out to the Lord. How awful that day will be, for the day of the Lord is near. It will come as destruction from the divine destroyer. Our food has been cut off right before our eyes. There is no longer any joy or gladness in the temple of our God. The grains of seed have shriveled beneath their shovels. Storehouses have been decimated and granaries have been torn down, for the grain has dried up. Listen to the cattle groan. The herds of livestock wander around in confusion because they have no pasture. Even the flocks of sheep are suffering. To you, O Lord, I call out for help, for fire has burned up the grassy pastures. Flames have raised all the trees in the fields. Even the wild animals cry out to you. For the riverbeds have dried up, fire has destroyed the grassy pastures. God is, Joel is crying out for repentance, for people to change their ways, because your day is soon to be here. It seems like nobody's listening to him, and and things get bigger. You know, the locusts taking out so much, uh, the food of the people, and then they can't do the sacrifices, and then the priests can't eat. And here in the United States, we're right in the midst of holiday time definitely not Christmas time and it's just so hard to watch people lining up for hours to then fight over a TV that's been discounted by $150 um, people actually being killed for material possessions and I think of all the money that's spent during Christmas God, my heart just breaks for my nation, the nation of the United States, as well as other nations too. We, we just don't get it. Sadly, we think that going to church once or twice a year is good enough. And perhaps praying to you when we're in really dire situations. And if you give us what we want, then we're happy. And if you give us what we don't want, uh, then we blame you for that. Or perhaps even not believe in you because of that. God, I, like Joel, have a heart that's broken. 
I have a heart that's broken for people who don't understand what's really going on. They truly believe that life here on earth is what everything is all about. And I keep working towards giving up my life here on earth for my eternal life with you, doing all that you've called me to do here on earth with the gifts and talents that you've given me. God, I pray for the nations of the world and the people of the world whose use of these next couple of weeks for this holiday is to acquire more stuff. And they just haven't understood yet that that stuff will never fill that, that incredibly empty place inside of them. I was that way. I had the best of stuff here on earth. And yet I was still missing something. And when I found you, I knew without a doubt that that was everything that I had been missing. That relationship with you, that relationship of love, that is pure and true your grace your compassion for me your mercy for me your discipline for me done out of love God sometimes it feels like you have done like you did many times in the Bible and have turned your back on the United States and if that is the case I don't blame you but for your remnant that is left here, please use our lives to do what you need to do in these areas in the United States and around the world. Open my life to be intentional to what you're asking me to do, to say, to think, to, to act on. What relationships you want me to develop, support and encourage. And where do you want my time spent? Where do you want my money spent? I want to give up everything, God, for you. But I can't do that on my own because I am selfish and broken. But I ask for your power that you've promised us to do what pleases you. Provide me the strength to follow the path that you have for my life today and all the days of my life for your glory for your coming kingdom God and I pray all this in your son's name Jesus Christ my Lord amen